Hey everyone, welcome back. Before I get to the main event, we're going to be doing a couple of different things today. First of all, a week ago I found these Frosted Mini Wheats Fruit Medley at the store, and I just wanted to say I'm kind of disappointed by them. They have a very nice peach flavor. It says it's supposed to be peach, apple, and pear, but they don't taste like anything. I'm a big fan of Frosted Mini Wheats. I eat them every day, and these aren't even particularly sweet, along with literally having no fruit flavor whatsoever. It's rough. I don't know why that happened. But yesterday, I was out shopping. I saw banana cream Frosted Flakes, and I said, God damn Damn it, I feel like I'm being called out. You've seen, oh geez, they've even got them on the back here. You've got chocolate, you've got regular, there's cinnamon, and there's Honey Nut is the brand new one, which I just saw yesterday for the first time. But this is, oh, this sounds terrible. And there was no way I could avoid getting it. So let's take a look at this. Huh, it kind of smells like the banana twins. Those hostess cakes where it's like two layers of cake and a banana cream filling. Let's give it a pour. Looks like Frosted Flakes. Smells like sin. I haven't eaten Frosted Flakes in quite some time. Let's, uh... Yeah, wow. The comparison to Banana Twins persists. This is not super great. It's extremely sweet. I don't think that I would get this ever again. But, you know, I'll eat the box just to, you know, waste not, want not. So it's not as gross as I was expecting. It's all right. It's very sweet. It's got that banana flavor. So, the other thing that we're going to do is make it worse. Oh, with something else I picked up yesterday, True Moo After Dark Mexican Style Chocolate. This is pre-made chocolate milk, and it doesn't actually have, yeah, milk, liquid, sugar, cellulose fiber, cellulose gum, natural flavors, carrageen, and vitamin D3. So this is not actually, there's no cinnamon in this, there's no chili in this, it's just going to be flavoring. I'm hoping it's not going to be super spicy. I've had actual Mexican chocolate before, so no need to at me. sort of tastes like chocolate milk. But yeah, let's add some cinnamon chili chocolate milk to our fucking banana frosted flakes. Oh god, this looks so terrible. I don't have cereal with milk ever. Oh, look at that. It, <laughs> that's not pleasant in the least. Holy crap. That's a little better than it has any right to be. Let me actually try drinking some of this, because I can't tell if there's any chili flavor in it. Yeah, no, there is. A little bit. That's actually the first flavor I get after the chocolate. There's like chocolate milk, chili pepper, and then some cinnamon. But all I can taste with the cereal is the cinnamon, which is actually okay. Okay, no. It's not okay. <laughs> It's palatable, but it's not okay. Oh, jeez, I gotta eat this before it gets soggy. Fuck me, that's just... That's not okay. The chili's building up just a little bit, so I think... And it's weird, because it's milk. Like, that's what you're supposed to drink when you're eating foods that are too spicy. It's not healthy. Okay, that's, that's it for this one.